Now the whole building is correct, but I do not want to have these kind of exterior and interior faces. Instead, I or rather the client want stuck outside and paint inside. To do this, we have to define a new wall type. First, we have to select all of the wall instances. We click on one instance of the wall, right click and as we did before, choose select all instances. Then we go to element properties where we will create a new wall style. Because we are dealing with type parameters that control all elements of one type, we cannot edit anything in the instances primary list display. What we have to do is to click edit new button to bring up the type properties window. Now we want to change the wall structure. Thus, we have to go to the edit structure menu. When we click it, the edit assembly window appears. Here we can preview how our wall is defined. If we click preview, we can look at the wall divided into different layers that are defined in the layers table on the left. As you can see, we can change the thickness, material and function of each layer. We can insert new layers, delete them and move them up and down. Then we can look at the wall from a section view. If we go to view and click floor plan modify type attributes, we can change the view to section modify type attributes to view the side view of the wall. The method of navigation in the window where the wall is displayed is the same one used in a drawing window. We can zoom in by scrolling the wheel, we can pan by holding the scroll, or we can access the steering wheel by clicking the button on the lower left hand corner and selecting the desired function. As you can see however, this wall contains a lot of layers that I won't be using. I could simply delete them, but there is really no point in doing that. As an alternative, I can cancel the edit assembly window, go back to type properties and select the simplest wall type to start from scratch. The wall type of my choice will be generic 8 inches. Now I'll click duplicate to create my, my own wall style with this wall's characteristics. The name dialog box appears and there I'll type in vacation house from the name of my wall. As you can see in the drop down menu for wall selection, now we have both vacation house and generic 8 inches. Selecting vacation house, if we now go to structure edit, you can see that we have only one layer. Now I'll add the materials that I want to use in the project. 